Golden Bloons are back in BTD6, and I'm going to show you how to pop a ton of them so you can get full use of the extra monkey money and more importantly, the achievements that go along with popping them. So to start, we're going to load up the easy map that has the Golden Bloon modifier on it and pick the Impoppable difficulty. We're going to pick this because eight total balloons will spawn in this run and they're all fairly easy to pop. So as you can see by this chart, Golden Bloons get more and more modifiers on them the longer you go into the run, which theoretically would make them harder to pop, but a 0-1-2 Ice Monkey that you buff can pop every single Golden Bloon in a run. And since Golden Bloons don't start spawning until around 21, it is best to do Impoppable, that way we get 8 total and we don't have to keep resetting and going through the first 20 rounds wasting time. So my favorite way of initially popping the Golden Bloons is setting up with a Ninja Dart Monkey at the front and then going straight for Benjamin. This extra cash from Benjamin will help us pop every single golden balloon with the Ice Monkey. So once you get Ben down, we'll upgrade our ninja just enough to where it can handle the rounds by itself, and then we're going to put an Ice Monkey near the end of the track. Now you want this Ice Monkey as far away from the ninja and other popping towers as you can. This is because you want the golden balloon to be isolated in the Ice Monkey so that nothing can free it. The golden balloons become invulnerable when attacked by other towers, but the Ice Monkey's freeze completely negates this. So you want to have the Ice Monkey being the only one that is attacking the Golden Bloon at a time, and this makes you be able to pop every single Golden Bloon that comes its way. The first Golden Bloon that you actually have to prepare for is the one that comes between rounds 31 and 40. Now this is the first Golden Bloon that has camo, and there are a few ways to counter this. My favorite two are the 300 Submarine if you're fortunate enough to be playing on a map with water, or you can go straight for a 020 Village buffing the Ice Monkey. Either will work, but the Submarine is a lot cheaper. The one that comes between rounds 41 and 50 can be tough, however. Now this is the first one that has the lead modifier, and if you're not prepared, it'll just walk through you like it did to me here. There is no easy way to get this one because Cleansing Foam doesn't remove the lead property of the Golden Balloon. So what I do is just rush a 030 village buffing the Ice Monkey. This does make the rest of the run a little tricky as it does cost a bit of money, but the second you buff the Ice Monkey with a 030 village, you don't have to worry about any other golden balloons because you know the Ice Monkey will be able to pop them all. Anyway, after you buff the Ice Monkey with a 030 village, you can just proceed like a normal impoppable run. Your main goal now is just to win because the Ice Monkey will handle all of the golden balloons. So what I like to do is get a couple of farms online and then just win with a ton of money. However, there are only a few towers that you want to use to beat these maps. Now I like to use the Crossbow Master and the Tack Zone because they can clear impoppable runs very easily and they don't have seeking attacks. You want to avoid towers that have global range such as the Ace, Helicopter, Submarines, or Snipers because you don't want any of their stray bullets to hit a frozen balloon and accidentally leak it. But as you can see, with this strategy, you can consistently pop seven golden balloons. And if you are determined to get the 030 village in time, you can always pop eight, though it does make the rest of the run a little more difficult. But that is the fastest way that I have found on how to pop golden balloons, and it will help you get both the achievement and extra monkey money.